hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing amazing surprise guys i'm so excited because today i have a hand model this is my first video of me doing somebody else's nails i won't be doing both hands but it's something right i'm gonna start off by applying my peel off base to all of the nails as always everything used in the video is going to be linked in the description box i love this peel off base as i've said it before and you can even see that i already need to get a new one i do recommend it guys but nails come off pretty quick sometimes i have good days and bad days i honestly don't know what it is but i can see how this can be frustrating if you're a beginner and you're trying to do a really quick you know practice set using this peel off base just be patient with it if your nail comes off just reapply it glue the nail back on and keep going but i do definitely 100 percent think that this is better than the oil cuticle oil method in the top coat I would do that and i did that for the longest time and that worked for me it worked but some days were bad like some days the nails were really stuck to my nail bed and i wouldn't be able to take them off so eventually yes it will create some damage to your nails but not the spill of base since it's pretty quick to pop off the nails but i do recommend it guys i think it's worth trying it out anyways keep watching if you want to see how i created this look right here i'm going to be using intention and frosty sweets from secret nail affair and of course my favorite nail tips in the shape square i am very excited to have a hand model guys even if it's just one hand that i get to do huge shout out to my hubby for letting me do this a little story time the first time that he let me do his nails it was when i was a beginner my first year of doing nails and i tried to do the pop-up method on him and it did not work the nails were stuck i had to soak them off he was in pain and everything but now i get to do his nails pain free plus this took me about an hour and a half which is half the time that it takes me to do one hand isn't that crazy and i think it's because i get distracted very easily so don't even be surprised if you don't see my hand ever again to be honest he's gonna be my little guinea pig now i'm just kidding guys i'm just kidding also i love that i get to use the nail tips that i don't use regularly on other people or even on myself because of his wide nail beds and here i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna fix his crooked finger instead of gluing the tip the way the natural nail grows i'm gonna tilt it a little bit to his right to make it look more straight and i always pinch the nails on the sides using my fingers just to make sure there's no tips sticking out to the side in a real set this will cost lifting if you don't remove it or if you don't make sure they are you know glued down to the nails well when it comes to sizing my nails i start by cutting the finger or the nail the nail tip that has the longest nail bed i mean the nail tip with the more elongated nail bed i hope i'm making sense guys if i was to cut the nail that has the shorter nail bed the set is already going to be a little bit shorter than i wanted it to be and this is why most of the time the thumb looks a little bit longer than the rest of the nails and it's because the thumb has a more elongated nail bit sometimes than the rest of our nails so if our fingers were you know index middle ring and pinky if those were size four and the nail bed on the thumb is a little bit more elongated if i was to do a size four it's gonna look a little bit longer than the regular you know than all the other rest of the nails i hope i'm making sense guys i'm trying i promise you sometimes things on, sound good in my head but when i say them it's like what 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 did you just say anyways what i did here i always like to file the side of my nails to make sure there's no tips sticking out and that helps me pretty much with application anyways moving on to application guys i really 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 love secret nail affairs glitters they are the most beautiful and i promise you a little bit goes a long way so 
this jar will last me a good while like you really do get your money's worth and you don't even have to waste a lot of product guys this is the first time that i see myself working on somebody like i have never recorded myself working on other people or on an actual hand it's very interesting and I'm, I'm excited to see what can change what i can improve or what positions i can maybe switch up a little bit i always hear nail techs complaining about pain in the wrist and i always say i'm too young for this that's not gonna happen to me i feel like so far i'm good and as of lately i've been experiencing a little bit of pain on my right wrist which is my dominant hand the one i use to grab pretty much everything so let me know if that happens to you or if you know somebody that has happened to and it's crazy that we don't think about those things when we are you know in our starting years because i've been, i've only been doing nails for four years so that's not really a long time and i'm already having pain don't tell me i have to retire soon like no i hopefully that doesn't happen i'm being a lot more careful the way i grab things i always stretch my hands in between i take like a minute and you know twist my head around a little bit kind of massaging it but yeah, really important. Self-care is really important, guys. And as always, I did not know what I was going to do with this set, with the design idea. I just knew I wanted those two colors together. So you're going to see me right here completely regret putting that glitter there. I was like, nope, let me take it off. That's not what I want on this finger. I was going to do half of the nail just glitter and the other half, I was going to figure out some other design. But you know, I can't stay away from Frenchie, so I'm going to add a little Frenchie here. lately i've been struggling a lot with my nail brush look at that little hair sticking out it, it feels like there's a clump of acrylic right in the min in the middle or right where the bristles start i'm not sure how to remove it i had to get a new brush to be honest i don't know what was causing that it is very cold here in la right now so I've been struggling a lot with my acrylic application. The acrylic is very runny. As you know, in the colder weather, the uh, liquid gets very cold, obviously, which makes the acrylic super extra runny. So I can see how that's messing up my brush. Also, guys, I'm using Secret Nail Affairs Elite Pro Monomer. I've been using Young Nails Monomer for the longest time for years and years but but i've been loving secret nail affair and now they started selling the gallon and is a little bit cheaper than the young nails one and honestly if i can save good money and i'm gonna tell you exactly how much because i remember it was a good amount so the young nails monomer the gallon it's 230 dollars versus Secret Nail Affairs gallon of monomer is $180. So that's a little bit of a difference. Every, every dollar counts. So I'm glad I'm able to find a cheaper option. And so far, I have no issues. I've been working with their monomer for the past month or so. And so far, I've used it with other brands and it's great. But look at that Frenchie. Oh my God, my baby. I love Frenchies, guys. I love Frenchies. And I can never get enough.
this video is kind of long and it was just because i wanted you guys to see the whole entire process without me cutting anything out I feel like something nice to add would be the paper towel that I used to wipe my brush with. You're going to see that I waste a lot of liquid and maybe somebody can relate to me. Somebody can give me advice on that and I'll probably do it next time. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that or if you guys want me to switch up some things, I can definitely do that too. Let me know. Leave me a comment and I promise you I'll work on it. Okay, this nail, I'm very excited for you guys to see it. I even zoomed you guys in. As you can see, I picked up three beads with the brush, which is the cover color, some clear acrylic, and a pigment. That's one advice I can give you. If you want to take your marble to the next level, add a little bit of shimmer. I'm not talking about glitter. I'm talking about the powdery, almost like chrome. And it really adds a nice touch to the marble here i'm trying to leave the corner of the nail completely clear because i'm gonna add some icicle effect on there And guys, you might think I'm too crazy for swiping the sides of my nails that much, but that's what helps me keep my application and my shape completely clean. I got so used to it doing constantly that I don't even realize I'm doing it. But if you don't do it or if you're scared of swiping the sides of the nail with your brush and almost removing part of the acrylic, don't worry about it. You can always file the bottom part of the nail and remove all that, I guess, empty space when you do swipe the brush on the side. And if you ever end up removing some 
of the acrylic because that does happen to me and honestly it's nothing that can't be fixed you pretty much just file the side of the nail or the bottom part of the nail and problem be gone for the Frenchie, the idea was half of the nail is going to be glitter and the other half, I still didn't know what, what I was going to add. So this is just the part of me doing the glitter. I know some people use the exacto knife, which is like the little blade to cut it and make it look more clean. For me, I feel like I can get it, you know, pretty straight just with my brush. So I, so I don't need to really cut it or file it after application. For the other side of the Frenchie, I honestly regretted doing this. I did the marble the same as I did on the index finger. But since I do have the French tip that is the same color as the cover color, it just clashes. I feel like it blends right in. It doesn't, you can really tell apart from the marble or the Frenchie. So I probably should have used less cover color, more clear and more pigment. And I feel like that would have been so much better. Also, I could have left it clear and do the icicle effect uh, like I was going to do on the index and the tip of the pinky. But el hubiera no existe, guys. This is what we have. There's no going back now.
okay guys i sped up the whole encapsulation process because we're already at 30 minutes here and we still need to do some filing the icicle effect the snowflakes so we don't have any time to waste and also guys i wanted to mention i know a lot of people or a lot of you guys use the dental bibs for your you know when you're doing acrylics i don't i use a sheet of foil or aluminum foil papel aluminio i feel like it helps me the best with the smell once i roll it up and throw it out it the smell is gone as opposed to having that dental bib or paper paper towel soaking wet in my trash and that's gonna stink the whole place if you're interested in seeing just my filing process i do have a video on that already so make sure you check that out so i'm gonna be using my taper barrel carbide bit in this style fine or in the grit fine and what i first do before anything is i clean up the edges of all of my nails and i size them next to each other to make sure they are all the same size after that if any of the nails came out a little lumpy then i use my e-file to kind of help me and drill it off before i hand file because i do mostly hand filing shape my nails i'm using an 80 100 grit file and i mainly use the rougher side which is the 80 grit i feel like when it comes to long nails that's what gives me the best shape ever Okay, here I'm just going to spray some of Young Nail Swipe. And this is something that I like to do always to make sure there's no dust at the cuticle area. And that way I can clean them up real good without having all that dust around that doesn't even let me see where I'm going. Okay, now moving on to hand filing. 
Sorry, guys. I'm just too strong. I don't know what to tell you about it. I'm just too strong. I was born this way. And my hubby was freaking out. He was like <gasps> gasping in Spanish because the nails were popping off. And he was like, oh, you won't be able to do your set anymore. I was like, baby, don't worry about it. Yes, I will. You're not going anywhere. And this is the thing with this peel off base. I love it. But the nails pop off pretty quick sometimes. Sometimes. Because you've seen me do a full set and the nails don't come off at all. So it's really, it really is tricky. You don't know where they're gonna when they are gonna come off. But I think this pushes you to be better at your application because you know that you're not gonna be able to file regularly because the nails might pop off. So that might help you in the long run. Honestly, that's the way I see it. I have to be almost perfect on my application for my nail not to come off. And I feel like that's a good place to start. That's a good goal. Guys, let me know if you prefer shorter videos, longer videos. What do you prefer? Because I don't like long videos and that's why I do shorter videos. But honestly, everyone's different. I just, myself, I wouldn't watch something that's too long. So I'm honestly putting out what I, I would like to see. But let me know, let me know. I'm realizing there's a lot of information that I can add and I'm not adding because I don't want to make it too long. But let me know. Look at that. We have another casualty. But that's okay. Everything has a solution in this world, right? But honestly, it doesn't bother me. It's that simple. You just reapply it, let it dry, and glue the nail back on as if, it, if you were gluing a press on. So here I have my hand model ready to do the little icicle. I just left out a little piece of the clear tip um, from the pinky just because I haven't done it before. It's nothing that I want to try and do a big piece of if I don't know how it's going to come out. So I'm just going to do a little piece. I'm using my gem glue, my gem gel. But before I did it, I made sure I swatched it on the nail and it came out pretty nice. So I'm very confident that it's going to look good. I do recommend you guys to try it out first before doing it. I know for sure my previous gem glue that I used to use it didn't dry all the way, so it, it always stayed sticky even after curing it under the lamp. And I was very surprised when I saw that this one didn't. This one dries all the way. So what I did here with the brush, I applied some gem glue and with a piece of plastic, I'm going to lay it on top of the gem glue and I'm going to make some texture using a dotting tool. I am keeping my hand lamp next to me because I do like to cure it in between a little bit to harden it because I do feel like it gets flat 
pretty quick like the gel loses the texture right away so i feel like curing in between helps me but every gel is different so that's why i say experiment with it a little bit and then do it on somebody if this was a real client you do have to let them know that there's going to be texture underneath because some people don't like that. And this design cannot be done if you wanted to encapsulate it. You're going to lose the entire design. I tried it. I promise it didn't work. If you know of a method that could be encapsulated and have the same same um, icicle texture, let me know because I have not found anything. Anyways, the plastic is really quick to be removed, guys. It's nothing that it's going to get stuck or anything. I feel like this design will look the best on sculpted nails just because you don't have that plastic of the tip. Even though the tip is clear, I feel like it's not a thousand percent clear. But if you were to sculpt them, I feel like you will get the best and the clearest nail, the most, most transparent, I guess. Okay, now that the peel-off paste is dry, I'm going to go ahead and glue the nails back on. And I pretty much do it as if you were doing a press-on nail. I apply some glue on the actual acrylic nail and a little bit on my nail bed. But always make sure you don't apply a lot. Don't overdo it or else you're going to flood the entire cuticle and the sides of the nails with glue. And that's not a good thing. just realizing that something that i didn't add in my shaping video is how i seal my cuticle and i think it's because it's a it's a practice set so it's not really meant to stay on so that's why i didn't add it but this is how i seal my cuticle pretty much i use the same sanding band that i used to prep the nail for the cuticle area i also slightly buff the entire surface of the nail just because there's no reason why i guess to soften and smooth out a little bit of their ridges but going back to the ceiling of the cuticle i feel like using the sanding band helps me to get really close as opposed to using let's say a five in one drill bit which we already know it's pretty rough anything that you use to debulk acrylic should not be used for sealing the cuticle area using the sanding band allows me to get closer and if i was to touch the nail bed or the natural nail it's not gonna cause mo much damage because it's the same sanding band that i'm using to prep my nail but try it out if you haven't already and you're gonna see that it's gonna be a game changer and you just let me know here i'm just finishing up my shape and he has a natural hand pose it's beautiful i love it look at that shape and now we're moving on to do the other part of the icicle effect on the tip of the index finger and now i wish i would have done a bigger piece now that i know that it's gonna look okay but i ended up doing just a little piece because i wasn't sure how it's it was gonna come out but that's okay because i feel like the set itself is already pretty loud with the glitter so i don't want to take away from the glitter and all that you know with doing the icicle effect
okay and now that we're done with that i'm already pretty anxious to finish guys i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna apply cuticle oil to all of the nails and then with my buffer i'm gonna smooth them out and this is how i prepare them for nail art and also if i was using darker colors you have to make sure you buff your nail or else all the lines caused by the hand filing all the ridges they're gonna show through even after top coat And I'm going to be adding some snowflakes to the index finger using my favorite, all-time favorite, white gel from Secret Nail Affair. And also my Nails by Dev Hella Cute Liner Brush. Almost there guys almost there if you watch till this moment right now you're a real one honestly because i would have been bored already i'm gonna be using secret nella first winter gels and their reflective liners and i will be doing almost like a candy cane type of vibe on this nail i wasn't sure what i was doing or how it was gonna look i just I, I try to pair the colors with the rest of the other nails. Ta-da! Look at that, guys. The natural pose. It's what I love the most. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Here are some other shots of the look. I am obsessed. Obsessed is an understatement. Like always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!